So it's actually quite simple what the problem was. When I made the code change this morning at 8 o Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some awful code today. What else should we add? Let me know if you have any suggestions for things we should add. The one thing is like if I give a test case and for example, I want to be able to display the diff of a test case that you may have failed. Because some of these can get pretty big. These ones, like for example, this one, your output is here, the expected output is different. You wanna see the difference though. And it's not super clear by just looking at it. So is there a way we can make this better? Yes, there is, we can add a button somewhere. Uh, what's the end goal with this? Getting rid of like the need to redirect to leak code, I guess. Uh, but also just having the flexibility to add additional problems. Uh, for example, I'm adding like a bunch of machine learning ones pretty soon. Huh, why is it show accepted? It must be because these two are equal and what is that? It shouldn't be equal. So what's going on here? This is accepted even though the answer is 100% wrong. It shouldn't be marked like that. Test case output. I guess I should just log it. Really what I should have done five minutes ago. This thing annoys the hell out of me. I need some handicap tools to help me read. Let me put my two brain cells together to figure out what's going on here. So the data looks fine, but something is amiss. Why the hell is this one true? And how the hell is the color red? No, 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 no. This one is true, right? Yeah, it must be because it's red. So this, it must be red. Yeah, it's red. So this one is executing. How in the hell is that possible? Yet it's green for the third one. Makes sense, they're equal. Wait a minute, I think I know what it is. This is a problem because I'm really dumb. And thank God I have not pushed this to production yet. You guys notice something? If I look at the submissions here, they're all accepted. That should not have been the case. It's some code changes I made this morning when I was laying in bed. You guys know what this means, right? This means I have to blame the backend dev. There's some code here. It validates whether it passed or failed on the back end. The front end is just for displaying the styling and the colors and whatever, right? Oh my god, I really should have named these things better. I don't know what I was thinking. I literally just did this code today. I think it's here, actually. Here it is. Is it? It's definitely this code. Let's just remove it just to test. Okay, that was not the issue. But wait, the problem is that server side, the thing is being marked as accepted when it really shouldn't. That's really it. Somehow it's being marked accepted and I know pretty much where that happens as well. It happens in checking if all submissions are correct. We loop through all of them. So let's just check here. Console. Everybody's out there learning fun tech and I'm sitting here working on Angular. I kind of want to check the judge response. Where is that? Once again, see, look how hard it is to read those logs, dude. So it looks correct to me. How is it marked as accepted though? I'm setting it to accepted probably here, but it looks like it's already set to accepted. Let me see. Okay, it's, it's accepted before that. Okay, I'm gonna get really... Wait a minute. I know it, fellas. It's when I'm submitting to judge zero. This is the code I updated. This is it, and I'm so confident in my hypothesis. I need my theme song on. Yes, the one hour version should do. So it's actually quite simple what the problem was. When I made the code change this morning at 8.04 a.m. laying down in my bed in my underwear, I made a code change here. It doesn't let me copy and paste it. What the hell? Why doesn't it? Okay, there we go. Sorry. Now we have fix the bug. The timing of the music is a little bit off. I actually still don't know if this is it. And if it is, I don't know exactly how to fix it. I mean, I'll give it a go. Let's pass in some expected output. Let's pass in an empty array because YOLO. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the fuck? No. I am setting the test case output. Somebody like me with an IQ of 180 should be able to fix this on their first try. Okay, so we didn't fix the problem. I don't know, guys. I thought that was it. Wait, it should be a string. There's a lot of issues in this code. I mean, the more you look at this code, the more brain cells you're gonna lose. I promise you that. So if you guys are actually gonna try to help me debug it, you are very brave. 
for doing that. <clears throat> Second tries the charm. Holy. Okay. We don't need the music anymore. We save it for a rainy day. It's just light work for an ex-Google engineer like myself, but you know, I had to sell the story a little bit. I had to make it look like I was struggling just to kind of get the narrative going. Do you know what I mean?